Hey everybody, Mark Stiles down here at Studio B at 892. I am joined once again with one of our lead attorneys from the real estate team at Stiles Law, Ben Cody. Ben, thanks for coming thanks down. Thanks for having me. Hey Ben, so today, September 1st, 2018, is a Saturday. That means yesterday was what? The last day of the month on a Friday, August 31st, 2018. And in the real estate business, that means what? Everyone closed on that day. <laughs> so that's funny that you say that. Uh, we see oftentimes that most real estate transactions occur at the very end of the month and usually at the end of the month if there's a long weekend. Why is that, Ben? Well, there's an antiquated view that by closing on the last day of the month, you're saving some money on prepaid interest. So prepaid interest is essentially uh, getting you onto the first of the month payment schedule. So if you're only paying one day, it's a little less money that you have to bring to closing. So if you're measuring apples to apples on your closing costs and somebody's measuring it as closing on the 15th of the month versus someone closing it at the end of the month, the closing costs will seem less if you're closing at the end of the month? It'll seem less, but it's a false economy because when you actually think about it, all that it means is that your first mortgage payment is actually all that much sooner. So all you're doing is delaying a payment that you're gonna make anyway. And so it's uh, kind of like taking from your left pocket and putting in your right pocket. So assuming that this historical false economy has created habit and all of these closings are happening at the same time, what can go wrong? Well, there's a whole host of things that can go wrong. We all know that fraud is an unfortunate reality in our industry right now. And the fraudsters know end of the month is the time that you try and make your move. So they know this. Obviously, if there's more people doing the same thing at the same time, then service will probably suffer as well. Absolutely. And it ranges from everyone from movers, which you might not be able to even get a mover on the last day of the month. Uh, it could be uh, the lender. It could be uh, the attorney's office. Everyone's more uh, busier. And so you're in a situation where you're not going to get the as much attention as you would if you were closing more toward the middle of the month. How about the registry of deeds? Absolutely. The registry, they are the ones that intake all the documents that are being signed at these closings. And uh, recording gets cut off at 345. If you're not on record, you might be out of luck. Out of luck. So you, you do all of what you need to do. You get everything ready. You do the closing. Closing happens. You don't get that piece of paper recorded. You don't own the house. Absolutely. So ownership transfers as soon as the uh, deed is recorded at the registry. And if you're not in line at 345, you're not getting on record. And you're only getting in the house if the seller's willing to let you in. So folks, the moral of the story is if and when possible, close on any day other than the last day of the month. Folks, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share with everyone and anyone. Thank you.